All right, folks, welcome back. Do the last stack here of the 87 tops. Uh, did them in stacks of four, so we're down to our last last stack of packs for this first box. And then we'll have a whole second one to go through and doing it in the same format. Uh, I'll give you a quick view for anybody who's not around. Uh, these are some of the hits in the background. Uh, especially that Bo Jackson. I was very, very surprised to get that. So, Let's see if this last stack gives us any uh, any more surprises for this box. Shane Raleigh. There we go. Another uh, Topps All Star rookie, Corey Snyder. Very nice. Dave Winfield. Nice. Whoa, old school Mickey Tettleton. Very nice. One of my favorite catchers growing up. I just love that he was a switch hitter. He had a weird stance. Tony Evans, nice card. Oh, El Presidente, Danny Martinez. Yeah, Mickey had a, a violent swing. Really straight up and down, weird stance, back kind of laid, flat. And Tom Lawless. I liked him and uh, I love me some Matt Noakes. I really did. Starting to open a pack before uh, put in front of the camera. Oh, terrible sound. Stop that, uh, Dennis Lamp. Rhino. Colby and Mike Trulio, I'll just go ahead and throw there. Uh, Gary Carter, very nice. Vince Coleman. Look at those steals. Uh, can we please have baseball like this again? 145 swipes in 113 games in the minors. Yeah, 156 hits. How many walks did he have? So, on base a little over 200 times, and he swiped 145 bags. On <laughs> Give me a break. Someone commented on the first video I posted about like hating the borders or whatever. Like, I don't, I guess they're not for everybody, but I don't know. I don't know how you can hate on these borders. They're wood grain. They just remind you of, you know, baseball bad. To me, that kind of screams baseball. Uh, kind of goes with uh, baseball aesthetic and theme. So, I don't. If you want to take umbrage at the, at some baseball card borders, I'd, I'd look elsewhere. Like I don't know, score. Maybe, maybe a little Fleers, a little ninety-one Fleer action. That's that's pretty terrible. Oh, Danny Tartable, very nice. I like that a lot. You know, uh, don't oh, look at that John Crook card. Oh man. What else was I gonna say? Donors, Donors did some pretty. Oh, and Keith Hernandez did some pretty horrible borders as well. I think Tops is the last company to come at for uh, Border Patrol.
Now, me personally, like these newer ones, these high gloss on the front and back and stuff, I don't. Like I said, I'm an 80s kid. You know, I was born in 79. I just like, I like the vintage stuff. I like 80s things. I never appreciated it when I was a kid. Now that I'm older and have my own kids, definitely wish you could go back to simpler times. But yeah, I don't, I wish they would just do these. Like when I, I love seeing the old 85 and 84 and 83 inserts. Like those are the things I chase. Um, when the new sets come out, you know, every time a new year comes out and they're redoing those things. Like I love the Topps archives that they do and they're bringing back the 1970s borders. Like those are the cards I chase, those heritage cards. And Pasqua, Bob Shirley, Jim Rice, Oral Hersheiser, Hume, Dave Forgetti All-Star, Steve Carlton. And Carlton Fisk. Look at those old unis. Very nice. Oh, there's a lot of glue on the back of that card. Still, to, I'm surprised all this gum is intact. None of it's powdered. None of it's even cracked or broken. Sorry, I keep bumping the tripod here. My apologies. Sweet Lou. There he is, Cobra. Mark Langston. Andy Allison. Another tops. All rookie. That's three in this stack. Very nice. Need some more future stars. Yeah, George Brett. All right. Doug Drebet. Yeah, Drebet's rookie. Sorry, I'm like peeling the wax back before I even get in front of the camera. Nice, the Wally Joyner. All-star rookie. That's uh, four in this whole stat. It's four so far in the stat. Lenny Dykstra on the nuts. Michael Valier, Spanky, where he was a pirate. He actually played for the Phillies, too. That is up. Speaking of Daryl Strawberry, and in the last video we were talking about uh, wasted talent. I mean, that you could see what was there. I mean, a guy should have consistently hit high 20s, mid 30s, maybe even touch 40 home runs for about 15 straight years. Sit on 500. Circumstances didn't happen. This is Jack Clark card. Just see wild hair. Nope. Wizard. All right. So we're 
down to the last two packs. I'd say all in all, it's pretty uh pretty successful box. Quite a few hits. I mean, as far as the hits go for 87 wax packs, but I'm I'm very happy with what uh what came out of it. Dicky Thon. Last pack, box one. It's gonna be in the books. Terrible, terrible way to open a pack. Oh, that gum was stuck. That was real stuck. Last pack, last few cards. Anything juicy. Robbie Top that's five tops all rookies in one stack. So <laughs> how did they cut the sheets back then? Question mark. Brett Sarah, Mike Maddox, Pete O'Brien, Bob Brenly, and Jerry Murphy. Mumphrey, Mumphrey, last card. All right, that's it. Box one is in the books. Uh, thanks for everyone who watched all the videos. Thanks if you just watched some of the videos. Uh, really down, a uh, walk down memory lane for me. There's a wax packs god. Did a, does the um, blog on cards. I know he had a he had a big thing on Wally Joyner. He did a big excerpt on that. Enjoy reading those. Yeah, but one of my favorite first basemen outside of Donnie Baseball. Yeah, so hey look at that. It's last stat. And all we got before that were two Andres Thomas cards. Uh, Danny Tartle. Alright, like I said, thanks so much for uh, watching. Um, liking, disliking the video. Either or, it's alright. Um, yeah, follow me on Twitter. Uh, M-A-S-S-A-L-L-0. Uh, yeah, so I'll be posting all the things that uh, I box break and any other snippets that come to mind. So, thanks for watching everyone. Hope you're staying safe, staying healthy. Uh, take care.